Previously on the district. My nephew's mother was killed trying to stop the father from kidnapping him. He's the only witness to that crime. I'm Irma Coleman. I'm Pablito's sister. I have custody. You have temporary custody. You're his aunt, I'm his aunt. You don't have a greater right than I. It's a subpoena to appear before the adoption board. Served to you on behalf of Mrs. Irma Coleman. Your father, his name is Owen Mitchell. And he owns a construction company. How many contracts has he had with the city? This is ridiculous. What does my father have to do with this? I have a request from the committee. It's for your calendar and your budget records. We need them tonight. If you want something that belongs to me, then bring a subpoena. Then we'll fight it. Nick? Check, please. No, no, no. Let me buy you a drink. The threat emanates from Eastern Europe, former Yugoslavia. We're trying to nail down the specifics, but given the chaos in that region, it's extremely difficult but it's definitely dc nothing's definite but the words that we picked up were anywhere close to the big house what big house are we talking about agent varga the capitol the white house there are a lot of big houses in dc and your guess is as good as mine i'm more interested in the words anywhere close to our involvement in kosovo bosnia bombing belgrade leaves us with lots of enemies who could get their hands on anything from plastic explosives to Biological weapons. Biological weapons. I'm telling you the range of possibilities. Obviously, we will mount the proper response to the threat. We've drawn up a plan. Thank you. That will mobilize several agencies. Now, the important thing is that we not alarm the public or allow the press to go on some speculative feeding frenzy. Hmm? We're calling this operation Overflow. We'd like you to disguise it as a uh, preparedness alert for the benefit of your personnel and keep the real nature of the threat within this room for now agent varga this city has 120 unsolved murders 82 unsolved rape cases not to mention the assault and batteries the burglaries the auto thefts now you have 7,000 federal agents at your disposal are you sure you need us those are my orders chief Sante. Get out of the way. Hey! You dissed me in the yard today, Sante. Guess he doesn't understand English. But they speak where you're from, Mike. Federal authorities want Operation Overflow put into effect immediately. They want a full dress rehearsal. As close to the real thing as we can make it. So we're going to be putting personnel on guard at the following buildings and metro stops. And then we're going to be monitoring key road checkpoints by mounting registration sticker checks during daylight and then DUI checkpoints at night. We all know that our friends at uh, the Bureau and the state occasionally like to play a dirty trick or two, so they'll probably be testing our roadblocks. Who are we looking for? I don't know you, but I'm counting on all of you to be fully prepared. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dismissed. I'll be back in the knowledge. Yeah, sure. Take care. Mm -hmm. Check. 
chief. The feds have the manpower to play their war games, but we're stretched right now. We can't afford the manpower shift. I think you're right. Good. Tell them that. Well, you nailed it. It's going to be 60 minutes. It's going to be nightline. The feds are going to slip 10 phony Iraqis right past us in the truck on New York Avenue. Then they're going to have a film crew behind them. Then they're going to make us the laughing stock of the entire nation. You want to tell me how to spin it? I mean, what am I going to say when the media calls? Tell them we're having a problem with drunk driving in the district, which we are. We're trying to get a handle on it. Let me put a positive spin on it, eh? Very good, Chief. You want to talk about deployment now? Why don't you see Chief Nolan? Chief, York's office sent the subpoena over for you. The Congressional Finance Committee wants all your records. We'll give it to corporate counsel. Tell them to fight it, and if they lose, tell them to fight it some more. Hey, Nancy. Chief. What does a fish say when he hits a concrete wall? I don't know. Damn. <laughs> Thanks. Keep the chain. Drive. Where do you want to go, kid? Uh, Ridgeway and C. Look, I, I don't have a lot of time. I have to get back to work. Ella, do you want to keep your nephew, Ricky? Yes. Then you need to make the time to review your testimony. Now, isn't it true you just started a new job? Yes. Uh, what time do you start, and when do you get off work? Start, um, 7.30. That's when I meet the chief for breakfast, and I get off, and things get done. Chief Nolan. I have the DUI deployments that the FBI requested. There are these road checks, Chief, in my opinion, an imbecile must have chosen. Why? Well, look at this. They block here, they block here. Anybody coming along, they just turn down there. Yeah. Did you see Ricky before your sister's death? Was it every week, every month, less? More than once a month. Mm, not necessarily every week. Uh, how's your health? Any past illnesses? Uh, five years ago, I had breast cancer. But it's in remission. Uh... History of mental illness? Ella? Well, that depends on what you call mental illness. I'm not crazy. I had a bout of depression. A bout? My fiancé was killed in Vietnam, and I, I took it hard. And that was it? You fully recovered? I had uh, a, a relapse, I had a depression after the cancer. Mm. I was overwhelmed. Ella, raising a child can be overwhelming. Look, I love this child. We stay up together, watch TV. When he wakes up with nightmares, I sit and I sing to him. On the weekends, we go to the park. Do you know who Cherizor is? Or Trezilagor? You know how to uh, wage a Pokemon battle? I do. He's my flesh and my blood. My friend. And I'm not gonna lose him. Chief, a captain was murdered over by C Street. I right, get the taxi squad on it right away. You can't. They've been switched to federal mobilization. 
there is a paper trail that connects Mannion, Deputy Mayor Mitchell, and city funds, which they had absolutely no authorization boring. whatsoever. Boring. We can prove systematic mismanagement, sir. Oh, for God's sake, York. You can prove systematic mismanagement anywhere if you look hard enough. When you brought that phone tape in here, you promised sex. What the hell is it? That's what nails them every time. Now, you get that sexy, that super sexy pumpkin in here, or else to drop it. From ahead, please, yes. You get your four out of there. Thank you. Yeah, Angie, give me a hand. Traffic is a mess. Yeah, well, you're saving the world from today's boogie man. Jenny, can we get a menu? Sure. Don't sound too happy about there you go. deployment. I had a growth of order. Bad. No. No way it can go bad with you. Turns out I'm a latchkey foster parent with a history of madness. What? And that's what the lawyer implied. Oh my gosh, well none of this is on your resume. Ready to order? Oh, uh, I'll have the corned beef, the Reuben, and uh, diet soda, any kind of diet soda. Okay. Corned beef, Reuben, diet soda. Now, what use is the diet soda? It's a gesture to the mighty god of weight watching. I offer up this token gesture, the diet soda. Right. Yeah, it's like putting the Metro Police on an anti-terrorist exercise. Exactly. So, well, you're nuts. Um, I'd fought two bouts of depression, Chief. Yeah, my daughter suffered from something. Is this the daughter that's the roadie with the rock band? Yes, Beth. She had a lot of trouble as a kid. Her mom worked with her. Did great. I mean, she could put her on medication. I, she seems to be okay, I mean, except for the band thing. When do you see her? Well, she needs money. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're worried about the custody hearing, huh? I wasn't until today. Ella, come on. You just gotta remember now, the great ones are mad. Brando. Van Gogh. <laughs> Mozart. Manion. Farmer. <laughs> hey, Rick Sate, what's up? I heard you bust out a juvenile. You guys are here now. Look. Yeah, this is our pitch. Yeah. I thought this was Myron's corn. No, no, oh, this is ours now. Yeah. yeah, I busted a cap in him for it. So, uh, how much you guys making? I'm doing okay. Doing real good. Yeah. Hey, you want to come work for us? Uh, come uh, on, chill. Oh, hey. Check this out. Oh, that's bad. I got it off some cab drive. Is there bullets in it? Yeah. Ooh. Now this is my corner. Hey, Georgia, go get his gun. Get it, Tom. So we're going for a record in Baker's Banana Republic. Three murders last night, all within six square blocks. Too bad the cops are so busy causing traffic jams. Why don't you put up your roadblocks on C Street, Chief Mannion? Maybe then you'd catch a killer. Here's the crime starts for yesterday. The taxi driver had a rope around his neck. How about these murders on 12th? Uh, drug dealers. Some guy walked up and shot both of them. Well, this mobilization is killing us. What are you talking about? We had 30 DUIs last night. Including two congressional staffers, a World Bank executive, Senator's wife. Well, you can call them back and tell them they're not getting any special treatment. Just got a call from Holler in at the post. Said he heard the federal exercise was real. There isn't anything real in this town except these murders on 12th. FBI agent Vargas here, sir. You had better have some news for me. What sort of news? Well, a vehicle type, a description, a nationality. 
anything that tells me this thing is real. If we had that information, you wouldn't have to help us. We'd have caught them already. We get a sliver of information, a rumor. We no. get a... Now, while you're out chasing rumors, I am piling up corpses six blocks from here. Hello? Oh, well, hello there, Mr. Pressman. It's Helen York. Oh, my God. What? You're not happy to hear from me? No, 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 no. No, I was just surprised that it's you. Do you want to go to a party at the French Embassy tonight? <laughs> well, I'm even more surprised by that question. Oh, there are just some people there that I I'd like you to meet. Will you come? Well, thank you for the invite. Look, I've never been to a uh, embassy party. Am I going to need a tuxedo? Mm, you better rent one. I've got to sit down with Chief Mannion and get this nonsense straightened out before it comes back to bite us in the... So tell me again how it went. He needed comms to have money. I didn't have time to go in front of the Congressional Finance Board. He was all over me about crime and people dying. I took funds from housing, gave him those, figured I could transfer them back over. Then when I asked him to sign backdated requisitions for money he'd spent, he yeah. got all righteous. That's it? Yes, that's it. Then Helen York starts questioning me like she's discovered that Lindbergh kidnapped her. Uh, well... It... Next thing they're asking about my father. Your father? What about your father? about city contracts I'm sorry these people just can't keep family and friends out of it it's despicable excuse me I got to see the chief alone for a minute okay what do you hear chief anything more on operation overflow nothing I just came from Senator LeBeau's 80th birthday testimonial they were all supposed to be there the president the vice Teddy none of them showed none of them they're all out of town Jack, do you think there might be something to this biological warfare business? No. I, I just... I don't see them letting us sit here. You don't, huh? Well, Jack, where do you think the citizens of this city are on the D.C. must-save list? Well, Mr. Mayor, I did some checking. The FBI is not mobilizing. They haven't canceled any days off. They're not working overtime. And the director was out on the golf course this morning. You better stay on top of this one, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir. Someone I think you should talk to. Chief, this is Mr. Lane, his daughter, China. Mr. Lane, a friend of my pops. This is the chief man. No, Jack. Chief, oh, China's in some trouble. About six months ago, she hooked up with this boy, Santee. Low life. Low life. Got her started on drugs. Just blunt. I got her away from him. He's a bad kid, Chief. Now he's escaped from the juvenile detention center. He called China to tell her that he killed somebody. Who? Tell him, girl. Tell him what you told your sister. A cabbie took his piece then he shot Jaron Biggs and Doozy took their money and guns where is he now answer him China he's not afraid of you well, he's scared of somebody he's going around shooting people he's gonna be in charge of what the hood Dancing. Yeah. You get McGregor and Nolan up there right now. Yes, sir. Hello, we got a crisis in the 4th District. Switch to Comstat now. Let's go. Nancy, I want Santee's record. I want that girl watched and get everybody down to Comstat now. Okay, What's Chief. going on here? It's terrorist, isn't it? I knew it. Yeah. The terrorist. Put up that neighborhood, Ella. How many blocks do you want? At ten square blocks and bring up those murders. Show me the daytime patrols in that neighborhood. Two cars, that's it? No, I want I want that area flooded. Show me citywide deployment. Sixty road blocks, 120 cars. I think half of them are being used as decoys. Hmm. Santee's files. Well, for, thank you. Just being used as decoys, we don't need to waste the manpower. Ella, pull those vehicles. 
Well, I think we're going to have to have a reassignment list. We'll get those people back on the streets. What's the federal threat? They don't know. Listen to this. Father ran off at age two. Mother was a crack addict, died six months ago. Psychotic episodes, extremely violent. Beat another inmate to death. We have a disaster on 12th Street right now. So, being an other shitter, C Street and Dunga. Put that up, Ellen. There's our guy. Five murders in two days. Let's catch this terrorist. What are you doing? What are you doing here, huh, buddy? Gotcha! Get down! I see you. I see you. I see you. Uh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Mr. Officer. I'm sorry, Mr. Officer. I'm put the weapon down. I'm not hurting anybody. something? Yeah, just a dinner. A date? No, no, just like some boring, obligatory thing. Good night. Sitters on overtime. But, Chief, tomorrow there's something I can't miss at 11. Yeah. What is it? The adoption board. My custody hearing with Irma. Ricky's aunt, Pablito's sister. Ella, why don't you tell me? I, I asked you to tell me so I could be there with you. I didn't tell you because I don't want you there. This is about my right to raise this child. I have to establish that I can do it myself. And showing up with the chief of police isn't going to do it, is it? Um, well, I mean, people have friends. They have supporters. I don't think... Going there alone is going to prove anything. You are a friend and a great supporter. But this is one of the things they're going to use to beat me. That I don't have a circle of normal people. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm normal. I'll get here at 7. I'll set up the monitoring. Then I'll just jump out for an hour. McGregor is not normal. Nancy has her moments, but... Ella, come on. I mean, of all the people you know, I, I'm normal. I mean, on a scale, of, uh, on a normal scale, uh, I'm an 875, a, a 9 on a good day, normal. Normal. It's my opinion. That's me. I'm normal. I, come on. What's going on? I moved a few roadblocks. This is a complex plan and you are wrecking it. No, your plan uses my men as decoys. What can I say? You're one cog in a big wheel, Chief. Oh, Agent Varga, you have me setting up roadblocks on side streets. We don't have the resources for this kind of operation. This is a waste of my personnel. See, I think you know. And I don't like being used as a pawn. You don't like being used as a pawn. I get that. No! Not when there's a real terrorist out there. He's killing people as we speak. If our ring is breached because of your deployment, your career will be over now. You want to play that kind of a game? He's not normal. What? You leaving already? Hey, hey, how are you? Dad. There you are. Deputy Mayor. I usually get a smile. Guy. Vodka Martini. Oh, yeah. That's business. Great. I tech companies sprouting up all over the place. Construction is booming. DC is flying. Well, some parts of it. Yeah, well, what goes around comes around. Yes, it does. Mm hmm. So, what's wrong? Well, pressure at work. Uh huh. I got dragged in front of a congressional committee. Ooh. 
What they want. You do city contracts? Sure. I'm in the construction business. Everybody goes after them. You ever bribed anyone? Bribed. What do you mean by bribed? Dad, please. I'm in the construction business. Sometimes you get more than just your shoes dirty. What did you do? Made things happen. With this mayor? Pookie, I would not let your mother, God rest her, grill me like this. I'm not a crook. I'm... I worked with all the mayors. Hell, I worked Marion Barry. Dad. Nobody came after Dad. me then. Why Dad. should they Dad, come Dad, please. Times have changed. Everybody's personal life is up for grabs these days. If you did anything with this mayor, please tell me now. I would never do anything to hurt you, and I can stand up for myself. Now, Ethan Baker and I, we go back years. They got some questions they want to ask me, let them come to me. Never mind them. Answer me. There's nothing to answer. There you go. Thanks. All right, well, thank you so much. That was wonderful. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful. Bye-bye. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it'd be. I told you, this town gets a bad rap. I love it here. Yeah. And you know, all those embassies, they flee the little countries, and they take half the nation's budget, and they come here and they spend it like crazy. No, oh, that's disgusting. No! Hi. Taxi! No, 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 Nick! Nick, this is us. Oh, no. I don't want to get into this. I live a couple blocks away. Let me get a cab. <laughs> get in. Inside. Uh, all right. <laughs> I promise you, you will make it. With your ethics intact. Very, very <laughs> typical of Republican <sighs> waste. Stretch limousine here four blocks. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you afraid of me? No. Then why are you acting like you are? Um, don't flatter yourself. I am. I am perfectly aware of where I am and who I am with. Um, driver, could you pull over here, please? <clears throat> I think it's best if we call it an evening, don't you? Okay. Oh, no. You know, wait a minute. Sorry, what did I say? You know, I asked you out because I liked you. And I thought you were interesting. And I really thought that you would be able to separate your work from your personal life. But all you've done tonight is treat me like I'm some sort of a spy, and I really resent it. And not that I have to justify myself to you at all. But I do what I do because I believe in it. And I don't have to go out on dates with people in order to get information, thank you very much. The only reason that I'm here at all is because I wanted to be with you. Did you... Did you honestly think that I wanted to go out with you to get information on Mannion and the mayor? If my remarks were misunderstood, I apologize. We make a pact with me. During business hours, we can beat each other senseless. But on our own time, we call the truce. Deal. Deal. Okay, deal. I bet you haven't even unpacked yet, have you? I haven't. Why? Because it has to be my place. Yeah, right. Hey, all right. We'll be on top of it. Okay. Hey, you get your dad's car on Tuesday and we go to the mall. My little brother. Are you laughing at me? No. What happened to Jojo? He never came back to class after bringing you food. <sighs> Too much attitude. Oh, 
small present? Huh? <laughs> Where the hell is this kid? Searched all the derelict houses. Undercover units are out there. All the intersections are sealed off. What am I missing? Maybe he's not in the neighborhood. No, he's gotta be, Ella. This is where he was raised. He was caught there. He came back there. I mean, this is all he knows. Uh, good morning, all. Chief, may I see you outside for a moment, please? Yes, sir. Jack, what the hell have you done? I've had 16 phone calls, three from State, three from the FBI, and one from the White House. Well, at least they're back in town. No, they're not back. It came from the head of the National Security Agency. Jack, you've been called everything from... George Custer to Benedict Arnold. Look, I got a kid who's slaughtering people on C Street. Now, what do you want me to do? Well, get him quick, then get the men back on the roadblocks. Excuse Jack, me, Chief. I have China's father on the line. He's calling for you. All right. uh, let's see what I can do. Yeah. Yes, sir. China took some of her brother's clothes with her this morning when she left for school. I think she's planning to meet Santi. Is she still at school? Uh, I called the principal a few minutes ago, asked him to check. He hasn't gotten back with me. That's John J. Hyde, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, just a second. Give me the principal on the phone. What, uh, what time did China leave the house? Uh, 8.15, same as usual. If she leaves any later, she doesn't make the bell. And what time is that? 8.30. Principal, line two, Mr. Fields. 8.30. All right, thanks, Mr. Lane. I'll get back to you. Uh, Mr. Fields, Jack Mannion. Is China Lane in school right now? Yes. Her father called asking the same question. Uh, she's in her classroom, room 240. What time did she get there? She was marked present in her homeroom at 8.30 sharp. Mr. Fields, can you hold on one second? Hello. Pull up the Lane house in the school. She walks from her house 15 minutes, she gets to school. Any route she takes, she's gonna run into a couple of roadblocks. Uh, you know, I just don't think she has the time to meet Santa yet. Yeah. Well, she could be planning on meeting him after school. I think she went directly there. I think she's being watched all the time. I think he's hiding there now. Mr. Fields, we may have a potential situation. There might be a suspect hiding on your campus. Do you have a fire alarm drill? Y yes, y yes. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to keep this line clear, and I'm coming right down. All right? Thank you. Temple, you get some cars down there. Get some containment. Tell them to stay completely out of sight. Ella, pull up the blueprints of that high school. See if you can find anything that could be a hiding place. Now stay on the line. I'm going to want to talk to you. We've set up base in the wood shop, sir. We have containment? Yes, sir. All exits? All exits. Good. Chief. Chief, I know brothers are like Santee. They got nothing to live for, and we don't want to set him off. If he starts hearing bells and alarms, anything out of the ordinary, he's going to start shooting. I should go in there. What? As a student. I could pull it off. Hello, are you there? I need those floor plans. I'm downloading it now. Give me a few minutes. I'll call you back in a minute. I said give me a minute. Ella, where are you? Please, ask him for a delay. No, I mean, this is exactly what they're talking about. I've got an emergency here now. Ella, do you want to keep that child? Yes. Court is now in session. And you must get over here now. Chief, it's in. Okay, Ella, I want you to keep this line open. All right, Temple. First sign of any trouble, I'm coming in. All right, Chief. Temple? Yeah. You ready? Uh, here. I just find out where he is and call for backup. Don't confront him on your own. He's a volatile kid. He'll shoot at you in a second. You hear me, Temple? I hear you, Ella. Chief. 
Chief. I want to ask the dear Lord to look down with care and love on this school, its pupils, Santee, and on me. I commend my soul into your hands, dear Lord. Amen. 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 Just a second. Look, I'm not mad. Look, I heard they came to offer assistance. Electronic surveillance, special forces. Look, thank you. There's my special forces. You talking to me? Now, don't start quoting movie lines. What? I'm busy. Temple, you tell the principal to go back to his office, wait for my call. Ella, would you talk him up to room 240? Marilyn Shelton. The chief needs you to go back to your office and wait for his call. Thank you, sir. Temple, can you move your mic? No. It's taped to my chest, Ella. Why? It's picking up your heartbeat. <laughs> it's a good thing it's not taped to my stomach. There's a lot of action going on down there right now. <laughs> you keep me informed, you hear? Otherwise, I won't know where you are. Right. I'm leaving the side door. All right. Keep going straight, Temple. The stairs are on your right. Let me know any possible hideouts on the way. What do you see? Nothing unusual, just some kids in the hall. All right, I'm going up the stairs. I'm on the second floor. Where's your hall pass, young man? Show me a badge. Police investigation. Please, step back into your classroom. Everything's under control. How far are you? I just passed the second stairway. It's the next room on your right. Remember now, this girl has seen you before. Don't let her see you. I'm here. Oh, boy. What? There's a poster in the window. I can't see in there. We'll get somewhere out of sight. In 30 seconds, I'm going to sound the alarm. Wait for China to come out and then follow her. What do I do? Get all the students out the front door. We'll have cops outside now. Hit the alarm. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go, people. Come on out. Let's move it. Let's move it. Let's go. Down the hall. See her? Not yet. There she is. She's moving away from the crowd. She's going in the opposite direction. Ella? I'm on it. Going down the stairs. Talk to me, Tim. I'm on her. She turned at the back of the stairs. She's gone. Talk to me, Ella. Where could she go? All right. There's a breezeway on the left. Leads to another building. I don't see her. Where else? There's a utility room. On the left. Leads into a storage room. Try there. No. Don't go in there. No, just wait. Wait. Uh, cover the door. Oh, no. She's seen me. What's she doing? Wait. Just stand in there. Get out of there. She's waiting for Santee. He's a cop! It's her! Temple? Temple! Where is he, Ella? Uh, it, it's 108. 108. Shoot him. China? Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Come on, baby. Just pull the trigger. Do it for me. Come on. Shoot him. Don't do it, China. <laughs> Don't throw your life away. Come on. Just kill him. Listen to me, China. You can get out of this. China, just take two steps back to the door. 
Come on, you can do it. That's it. Back away. Go on, go ahead. Go on, good. You're almost to the door. How'd you know we were at the door? Faith, Chief. Congratulations. Thank you. We're ready to redeploy. Not necessary. Why not? Received a stand down order. You caught some. All I was told was to stand down. Yeah, well, was it real or was it a test? Who knows? At least the boys are back in town. Ella. The fact that I was late is not a reflection of the importance I place on this hearing. Keeping Ricky is the most important thing in my life right now. I simply... I couldn't leave work any sooner. Well, this is exactly what we're talking about, Miss Farmer. Your inability for a host of, I'm sure, very good reasons to parent this child. The only reason I didn't rule against you was in the event of an accident or an act of God. Judge, the chief of police is here. He says it's important. Isn't he your boss? I didn't ask him to come. In fact, I asked him not to. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Uh, please forgive me. Uh, I promised Miss Farmer that uh, I was going to stay out of this. Well, maybe you should have kept that promise. <sighs> well, I, I just think uh, us abnormal people, you know, we just, we have to speak up for each other. I don't want to try to impress you with why she was late or, or to emphasize the number of lives that this woman has saved in the past hour. I know that's beyond the court's consideration. I know this court is about fairness, it's about wisdom. And I just want to say for the record, this woman deserves a fair hearing. She doesn't get it. And a young child is going to be deprived of the most loving, the most intelligent relationship he could ever have. I work with her. She's remarkable. I know you don't know that. But it behooves the court to find out. Very clever, Chief. Now I can do nothing else. But let me warn you, Miss Farmer, this hearing is about your ability to parent this child. The hours you can give him and the impact your lifestyle is going to have on his education and well-being. And I will not be swayed by outside factors. Thank you, Chief. And now I have to get home to my family before your road checks leave me in traffic for two hours. Except for the road check thing, it went well. And... Oh, come on, come on. I can't blow this one, Chief. That's not gonna happen, Ella. This is the Biography Channel. You want to be yourself, but you're not allowed to be yourself. This is the Biography Channel. I was just beside myself with anger and disappointment. This is the Biography Channel. I'm the only actress he knows you have to pay to keep your clothes on. Reality meets personality only on the Biography Channel. Biography Channel. What a concept! Previously on The District... My nephew's mother was killed trying to stop the father from kidnapping him. He's the only witness to that crime. I'm Irma Coleman. I'm Pavlito's sister. I have custody. You have temporary custody. You're his aunt, I'm his aunt. You don't have a greater right than I. It's a subpoena to appear before the adoption board. Served to you on behalf of Mrs. Irma Coleman. Your father, his name is Owen Mitchell. And he owns a construction company. How many contracts has he had with the city? 
This is ridiculous. What does my father have to do with this? I have a request from the committee. It's for your calendar and your budget records. We need them tonight. If you want something that belongs to me, then bring a subpoena. Then we'll fight it. Nick? Check, please. No, 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 no. Let me buy you a drink. The threat emanates from Eastern Europe, former Yugoslavia. We're trying to nail down the specifics, but given the chaos in that region, it's extremely difficult. But it's definitely D.C. Nothing's definite. But the words that we picked up were anywhere close to the big house. What big house are we talking about, Agent Varga? The Capitol, the White House, there are a lot of big houses in D.C. And your guess is as good as mine. I'm more interested in the words anywhere close to. Our involvement in Kosovo... Bosnia bombing Belgrade leaves us with lots of enemies who could get their hands on anything from plastic explosives to biological weapons. Biological weapons? I'm telling you the range of possibilities. Obviously, we will mount the proper response to the threat. We've drawn up a plan. Thank you. That will mobilize several agencies. Now, the important thing is that we not alarm the public or allow the press to go on some speculative feeding frenzy. Hmm? We're calling this operation Overflow. We'd like you to disguise it as a uh, preparedness alert for the benefit of your personnel and keep the real nature of the threat within this room for now. Agent Varga, this city has 120 unsolved murders, 82 unsolved rape cases. Not to mention the assault and batteries, the burglaries, the auto thefts. Now you have 7,000 federal agents at your disposal. Are you sure you need us? Those are my orders, Chief. Sante. Get out of the way. Hey! You dissed me in the yard today, Sante. Guess he doesn't understand English. But they speak where you're from, Mike. Federal authorities want Operation Overflow put into effect immediately. They want a full dress rehearsal. As close to the real thing as we can make it. So we're going to be putting personnel on guard at the following buildings and metro stops. And then we're going to be monitoring key road checkpoints by mounting registration sticker checks during daylight and then DUI checkpoints at night. We all know that our friends at uh, the Bureau and the state occasionally like to play a dirty trick or two, so they'll probably be testing our roadblocks. Who are we looking for? I don't know you, but I'm counting on all of you to be fully prepared. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dismissed. I'll be back in an hour, Chief. Yeah, sure. Take care, folks. Chief, the feds have the manpower to play their war games, but we're stretched right now. We can't afford the manpower shift. I think you're right. Good. Tell him that. Well, you nailed it. It's going to be 60 minutes. It's going to be a nightline. The feds are going to slip 10 phony Iraqis right past us in the truck on New York Avenue. Then they're going to have a film crew behind them. Then they're going to make us the laughing stock of the entire nation. You want to tell me how to spin it? I mean, what am I going to say when the media calls? 
tell them we're having a problem with drunk driving in the district, which we are. We're trying to get a handle on it. Let me put a positive spin on it, eh? Very good, Chief. You want to talk about deployment now? Why don't you see Chief Nolan? Chief, York's office sent the subpoena over for you. The Congressional Finance Committee wants all your records. We'll give it to corporate counsel. Tell them to fight it, and if they lose, tell them to fight it some more. Hey, Nancy! Chief. What does a fish say when he hits a concrete wall? I don't know. Damn. <laughs> Thanks. Keep the chain. Drive. Where do you want to go, kid? Uh, Ridgeway and Sea. Look, I, I don't have a lot of time. I have to get back to work. Ella, do you want to keep your nephew, Ricky? Yes. Then you need to make the time to review your testimony. Now, isn't it true you just started a new job? Yes. Uh, what time do you start and when do you get off work? Start? Um, 7.30. That's when I meet the chief for breakfast. And I get off. And things get done. Chief Nolan. I have the DUI deployments that the FBI requested. There are these road checks, Chief, in my opinion, an imbecile must have chosen. What? Well, look at this. They block here, they block here. Anybody coming along, they just turn down there. Yeah. you see Ricky before your sister's death? Was it every week? Every month? Less? More than once a month. Mm, not necessarily every week. Uh, how's your health? Any past illnesses? Uh, five years ago I had breast cancer. But it's in remission. Uh... History of mental illness? Ella? Well, uh, that depends on what you call mental illness. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I had a bout of depression. A bout? My fiancé was killed in Vietnam, and I, I took it hard. And that was it? You fully recovered? I had uh, a, a relapse, I had a depression after the cancer. Mm. I was overwhelmed. Ella, raising a child can be overwhelming. Look, I love this child. We stay up together, watch TV. When he wakes up with nightmares, I sit and I sing to him. On the weekends, we go to the park. Do you know who Cherizor is? Or Trezilagor? You know how to uh, wage a Pokemon battle? I do. He's my flesh and my blood. And my friend. And I'm not going to lose him. Chief, a captain was murdered over by C Street. I right, get the taxi squad on it right away. You can't. They've been switched to federal mobilization. There is a paper trail that connects Manion, Deputy Mayor Mitchell, and city funds, which they had absolutely no authorization boring. whatsoever. Boring. We can prove systematic mismanagement, sir. Oh, for God's sake, York. You can prove systematic mismanagement anywhere if you look hard enough. When you brought that phone tape in here, you promised sex. What the hell is it? That's what nails them every time. 
Now you get that sexy, that super sexy pumpkin in here, or else to drop it. From ahead, please. Yes, you get your four out of it. Traffic is a mess. Yeah, well, you're saving the world from today's boogeyman. Jenny, can we get a menu? Sure. Don't sound too happy about it. There you go. Deployment. Yeah. I had a growth of order. Bad. No. No way it can go bad with you. It turns out I'm a latchkey foster parent with a history of madness. What? And that's what the lawyer implied. Oh, my gosh. Well, none of this is on your resume. Ready to order? Uh, I'll have the corned beef, the Reuben, and uh, diet soda, any kind of diet soda. Okay. Corned beef, Reuben, diet soda. Now, what use is the diet soda? It's a gesture. To the mighty god of weight watching, I offer up this token gesture. The diet soda. Right. Yeah, it's like putting the Metro Police on an anti-terrorist exercise. Exactly. So, well, you're nuts. Um, I'd fought two bouts of depression, Chief. Yeah, my daughter suffered from is this the daughter that's the roadie with the rock band? Yes, Beth. She had a lot of trouble as a kid. Her mom worked with her. Did great. I mean, she could put her on medication. I, she seems to be okay, I mean, except for the band thing. When do you see her? Well, she needs money. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're worried about the custody hearing, huh? I wasn't until today. Ella, come on. You just gotta remember now, the great ones are mad. Brando. Van Gogh. <laughs> Mozart. Mannion. Farmer. <laughs> hey, Rick Sate, what's up? I heard you busted out a juvenile. You guys are here now. Huh? Yeah, this is our pitch. Yeah. I thought this was Myron's corn. No, no, oh, this is ours now. Yeah, yeah I busted a cap in him for it. <laughs> so, uh, how much you guys making? I'm doing okay. Doing real good. Yeah. Hey, you want to come work for us? Ah, uh, come uh, on, chill. Oh, hey, check this out. Oh, yeah, 